This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm in Harlow at the MTK Performance Centre. With me is Barry Smith, who I want to uh, talk to about how you ended up at the MTK Performance Centre. So, uh, obviously, we know you was down at West Ham for ages, Barry. Um, everyone knows that in the sport, uh, domestically. And then you told me you had a kind of a moment where you quit uh, the sport and then you've ended up here. So, talk to me about that. Um, well, obviously, everyone knows I was down at West Ham Boxing Gym. You know, things wasn't really going well down there, you know, and um, I had a couple of fighters, but at the end of the day, I just had enough, um, gave the keys back to the gym, walked away from it, made my mind up there and then, got in the car, drove home, an hour later, I'm not sure if I called Ben or Ben called me, I'm not sure how it went, and Ben went to me, um, Bow, why don't you come down here and give me an hand in, in, in the gym with all the boys? So when I thought about it for a couple of days, I thought, right, I'll go down there and see if I can get the love of the sport back again, yeah? Come down here, obviously, you've seen the crop of talent here, ain't you? <laughs> yeah? So I got down there, started training with the boys, the boys loved me, yeah? You know, that really helped, and all of a sudden, when I thought, fuck, I'm in love with the game again, I'm back on it, yeah? I went with a great crop of fighters, great lads, you know, Ben, you know, big thanks to him for giving me this big, great opportunity, you know, because I have worked in a lot of boxing gyms, as you know, mm. but I've never worked with a crop of fighter like this, you know. This is absolutely like top draw, you know, um, it's a trainer's dream, you know, it's a dream for me to come, it's a dream come true to me to be working here and I'm enjoying it and I'm, you know, I ain't looking back. Yeah. Bit of a, a bizarre one, this as well. Um, obviously, a couple of years ago, we was in a train um, when your guy Philip Bowles was boxing Tom Farrell, right. and uh, you like weren't with Ben then, obviously, and you no. you were talking about Ben, and you said he's going to be, you said your words, the best trainer uh, in the world, um, and n that. and now you're working with him. It's strange how life works. Yeah, it's mad. Uh, you know, obviously as a trainer, like we sort of like shadow other trainers, like we look at other trainers, you know because you never stop learning this game as a trainer. So if you can see something you like of a trainer, why not take it off him, you know? There's no law against it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so obviously I kind of shadowed Ben for a year or so when he was working with Billy Joe, you know, then he's working with Tyson. So I've sort of like shadowed him, what's what he does, different to me, you know? And obviously he does quite a lot different, you know, to me. So, so I thought I'd just take, take bits and pieces out of it, and it seems to work. And um, I knew this kid, sorry, this kid, sorry, I don't mean to say that, Ben, was going to be a fantastic trainer, because obviously I've worked with some great trainers over the years. There's something special about him, you know? And there is, and I mean, I'm not just saying this because I'm here with him, I'm saying it because I'm speaking the truth. There is something, he's an amazing trainer. He's an, he really, and all the boys say it as well, so every, everyone can't be wrong. What is that one special thing you're, you're referring to? <sighs> the way he sees everything, you know? The way he does everything, you know? Everything's done right. Everything's all done properly. Everything, you know I mean? The way he, he, he can watch a spa and he can pick up and say it straight away, you know? And I thought, I was sitting there and thought, well, why haven't I picked on this? It's just... You know, it's the way he reads things, he reads things different. And it, and it ain't complicated if you know it. If, you, if you're a fighter, it's not complicated. He just picks things up the right way. Mm. You know, he's an amazing trainer and he really is. As we said at the start, you've been in this sport for a long, long time, Barry. How much do you think you've developed as a trainer since joining here? <sighs> well, being honest, it feels like I've started all over again, to be honest with you, you know. But... You know, I I I have my own like knowledge and all that. Now, <clears throat> you know, like you got like the undisputed world champion there, Lee McGregor, like European champion, Lee Wood. You know, all brilliant champions in this gym, and all these up and coming fighters coming in the gym. It's unbelievable, you know. This champions after champions here, and when you're working with quality, you can only get better. You can't get worse, you know. And that's what's happened to me, you know. And yeah, I have come on. You know, a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot, you know. Working with these guys, it's been around Ben. Brilliant. It's an, um, absolutely a dream come true for me. So, yeah, as you said, some terrific fighters down here. You've yeah. got the undisputed 
140 king uh, down here. Obviously, you've got a uh, European champ, Lee McGregor, some brilliant prospects like Shabazz Massoud, Mark Dickinson coming through as well. Uh, just must be a dream dream come true for you to work it. Probably coming through. You know, we've got so many brilliant fighters here, you know. Um, yeah, we've got Leon, Le, 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 Leon Ed, G, the German, I call him, the German, Leon Bunce, yeah. You know, I think he's ranked, is he number four by the IBF in the world? You know, you've got uh, little Ben Smith here, you've got the Ginger Rocket here. See, I think it's just all pushing on, like, it's all great here, you know what I'm saying? And if I've left some, I've got little Leo, Leo the Lion, don't forget Leo the Lion, yeah, don't want to leave him, Max, he'll pull me on it. Mm. You know, if I've left anyone out, sorry. <laughs> but no, it's, it's great, I'm, I'm really in love with the game again, mm. yeah. I'm just looking forward to the next show, effort all to open up again, you know, as, you know, it's all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what that one, I just can't work it out what's going on. I just want it all to get back to normal again. Well, we're going to have a discussion about COVID another time, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, would you say uh, you're finally in, back in love with the sport, Barry? Yes, 100%, you know. Who would it be working with this quality? You know, I mean, working with the MTK Performance Centre, you know. I'm up early, first one at the gym. I am, yeah. yeah. Not the last one to leave. Ben's the last one to leave, yeah. But the first one here, every morning, you know. It's great. I love it. I love it, you know. Mm. As, you, as you just witnessed the spa a minute ago, didn't you? Me and Ben, we had a little fuck of that. Did you enjoy it? I'd say it was more than that. It was, uh, it, was, it was quite good at times. Ten rounds of it as well. Was it tough? It was yeah. tough for me. <laughs> not, not bad for an old boy, am I? <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, a mention to, to Lee Wiley as well. Obviously, he's part of the Lee team Wiley, with yourself yeah. and Ben, um, Wiley, who does all the, the, the video analysis yeah. uh, with the boys here. Oh, mate, Lee Wiley, mate, yeah. Another level. Another level. Never seen nothing like it. Sit there, watch a fight of him. Oh, mate. It's unbelievable. Every fine detail, you pick up on it. Um, that, we're having a lot of success down here because we've got people like Lee Wiley here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've never worked with anyone like this before. A fight analyst, a fight analyst who breaks things down like the way he does, you know. With the fighters love him. What, what, what can you say? Well, then, Barry, it's good to see you uh, thriving down here. Uh, obviously, people have known you for a long time, and uh, it would have been a shame if you if you left the sport. So it's good to see you down here at the uh, MTK Performance Centre as always, and we'll uh, speak soon. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah.